so nice to see you. Welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Maybelline City Mini Palettes. We're going to be doing a little eye look with them and then I'm going to be swatching all six palettes for you guys. If you are brand spanking new to my channel, go ahead and subscribe if you want to because I upload three times a week and I do reviews, tutorials, hauls, lots of really really good stuff and also make sure you sign up for those notifications so that you don't miss an upload with that being said for all of my oldie but goodie subbies go ahead and give this a thumbs up if you're excited to see all these palettes so these six palettes that I'm going to show you guys, they all retail for $9.99 in the drugstore. And I've had a chance to play around with a few of these already. They've got a really good assortment of colorful palettes and neutrals and all that good stuff. The coolest thing about each of these palettes is they all have a different theme. One is like jungle, one is like graphic arts, you know, and then the neutrals have their own themes, but I feel like there's something in here for everybody. If you're a neutral girl and you just want a little bit of sparkle to play with sometimes, or even if you're somebody that loves pops of color and love putting colorful eyeshadow all over, there will definitely be something for you. Now, I did a blue look earlier this week, and um, I got some really good comments feeling that. So um, I'll go ahead and put that look somewhere up here for you guys to check out. And I believe I also have a little Instagram video up on my Instagram page. If you follow me there, you might have already seen it. Um, so I already am digging this. However, I haven't had a chance to swap Watch all six palettes for you guys so I will definitely be doing that later on in the video but first I'm gonna bring you guys in closer we're going to apply the shadows so you guys can really get a chance to see how they perform all right so I've already primed my eyes with my Smashbox primer honey child it is holy grail status for me and uh, I'm choosing this little palette here this is called graffiti pop Yes, Graffiti Pop. And I chose it because it has some good transition colors, it has some bright colors, but also it gives me a little bit more room to play in terms of options. Um, some of these palettes, I will say that they have beautiful shimmers, but not all of them have the appropriate transition color for someone of my skin tone. Now, taking a blending brush, I'm going into this one, this mauve, purpley kind of color and I'm just applying this in my transition it's a nice light and very subtle shade now I will say you guys when you're using this palette please dust off excess eyeshadow because this is very like crumbly it does blend beautifully as you can see but you will end up with a lot of fallout so it's a really good idea to do your eyes first. Now I'm going into this dark purple color here. And wow, this one's actually very pigmented. I love it. I'm also going to use my blending brush and just kind of go back in smooth some things out. Now I'm going to use this Morphe brush, the M506, and I'm taking this beautiful turquoise shade right here, and I'm going to add that in my inner corner. Take a little bit of my Fix Plus. I think that looks really, really cute. I'm going to go ahead and add some liner, and then I'll be back, and then I'll talk to you guys um, about some of my thoughts, and we'll get to swatches. Okay, guys, so I'm back. I just swatched the first palette, the one that I used for my eyes. First of all, I loved this eye look. I love the pigmentation, and I also love how these shadows work with shimmers. Um, but also on the swatches, what I love is that these shadows are so buttery yes you do have fallout but they also blend really really well so I think if you take that into account you know for the price of what you're getting like you can just create so many looks as long as you have a little bit of creativity and you 
don't mind rocking several different colors, then I think that's amazing. My particular favorites in this palette are the like shimmery kind of champagne color, the turquoise color, and the dark purple color. I think they're both so beautiful and I just love how they blend and I think the pigmentation can work for anybody from fair skin to someone that's deep dark skin tones. So taking a look at the next palette which is called Chill Brunch Neutrals. This palette is lovely obviously. It's amazing for the neutral color lover. It does have some shimmery metallics that are really nice for those pops of color when you feel like you do want to explore, be a little bit more adventurous. And I think that these colors will work well for any skin tone as well. The mattes actually blend out really nicely. I'm looking at them right now. And these shimmery shades are so nice. There is one shimmery shade that doesn't come off as pigmented, but honestly, I feel like you could build that up with a setting spray or any kind of application with a wet brush. So I'm not tripping about that because this product isn't exactly the most expensive palette, but they all look beautiful. Now the downtown Sunrise palette is super pretty but the color that just jumps out to me is this coral sparkly beautiful color and don't get me wrong the other colors are nice but I feel like on my skin tone some of them do show up a bit ashy looking which is fine but honestly I don't think that I would be using the whole palette. Just that coral color is super amazing. Now the mattes do blend out very nicely, although some of them do look ashy. And the shimmer shades are nice as well, but they are not my particularly favorite palette out of the whole collection. Now the Urban Jungle palette is my hands down favorite palette from this collection. All the shades are highly pigmented. They blend so nicely and I'm just really a fan of green. I feel like I don't see enough greens that I would mess with, you know what I mean? And every single variant of green is gorgeous here. They have the super white um, shade that you can use as, you know, a brow bone highlight. They have a beautiful yellow that goes amazing with the rest of these colors. They swatch beautifully. I mean, like, what more can you ask for? <laughs> um, yeah. So the Rooftop Bronzes palette is really nice. It's basically another one for those neutral lovers that also love coppery tones. They swatch so beautifully. There's one particular, actually two coppery tones that just were like calling to my heart. They were speaking to me like no other. And I really like this palette. I would definitely use this on a more everyday, regular basis. Um, but as far as pops of color go, they aren't really on there. Again, it's really, really nice for those neutral lovers. So the Concrete Runway palette was the one I was wearing on Monday's video. And I used the blue shade and the silvery shade to create that look. And I love them. Like I said before, that that blue shade was like super super pigmented and I did use a setting spray I used Mac fix plus to apply it on my brush so I used the wet brush technique um, I mean they'll be fine without it that's just my personal preference so you guys don't have to use that but all in all like it's gorgeous I mean I don't know if the camera is really doing it justice, but if you love color, then you will love this. I feel like there's so many different variations. Like you could do a smoky eye, or you could do a colorful look, or you could do a smoky eye with pops of color in the inner corner. Like you can just, you know, sky's the limit. So I really hope you guys found these swatches and my reviews helpful. Let me know if any of you guys have these palettes and what you think of this eye look. You guys know, I always wanna know what you guys think in the comments section. And also, please go ahead and leave me any video ideas or products that you want me to review in the comments. And don't forget to check out my beauty products reviews playlist if you haven't already. And I love you guys and I will see you in the next video. Bye!
Can I say it? 